Are you on a quest for the truth or do you stand with the facts? This video will help to give you a clearer picture of what your state of condition is with regards to these terms. I'm going to show you a little bit of how I parse words and how I find out the meanings behind the words or what they really mean. Now I'm just simply using Google here. I didn't even use an etymology dictionary. Google tells me that truth is the quality or state of being true. Now I can assume a lot about that definition, but if I really want to know, what I would do is I would look up the key words in the phrase, which would be, the first would be quality. So I look up quality and Google tells me the quality is the standard of something. So it's a standard. I comprehend that. The next key word is state. What is a state? A state is a particular condition that something or someone is in at a specific time. So it's a state or condition that something or someone is in at a specific time location. So you can be in a state of distress, a state of fear, a state of happiness, the state of Arizona. They're all states that something or someone is in at a specific time. The next key word is being. Being is present participle of be, so then I look up be, and be means exist. The next key word is true. True, in accordance with fact or reality. So really, this really doesn't really tell me much of anything about truth. So then I have to go deeper. So I look up this key word, accordance. And accordance is in a manner conforming with. Now we're getting somewhere. Conform. Think of what that word uh, conjures up in your head. So I look up conforming. Conforming means comply with rules, standards, or laws. Rules, standards, and laws are created by people. So in essence, what they're telling you after all of this searching and study is that the truth is created by people because people create rule standards or laws. You are conforming with someone's creation. Now I look up the word fact. Google tells me that a fact is a thing that is indisputably the case. I know indisputably there's a lot of fraud going on in that word. But really, what we are taught to believe about indisputably is that you, there's no arguing with it. There's no arguing. There's no conflict. You get punched in the face. It's indisputable. You got punched in the face. So that's what a fact is. There's no real researching it. It is what it is. And in the quantum grammar construct... I define a fact as, for the fact of this claim is with this contract of the cognition with this whole of the value with this matter by the contract party slash parties. A fact is what it is. By the way, the green numbers above these are syntax, and this is the syntax key for this fact. And this is a fact. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this or anything else I do, feel free to contact me in the private and the confidential at the email address provided in the description below the video. If you like it, hit like, subscribe, and uh, hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.